Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica. I felt really called to do a special video for you today in this format, not my usual format, but it was a message that was coming through very strongly that I felt now was the right time to bring it forth. Um, today I'm going to be talking specifically about the divine masculine and the divine feminine and the, the messages that I channel and how it's important to understand when I'm channeling for those particular energies. Now, for many of you guys, this may be a new concept for you, the whole divine masculine, divine feminine thing. You may have come here for, you know, an astrological video, and, um, and now you've stumbled upon my other videos that talk about divine masculine and divine feminine. For some of you guys, this is old hat. You've been here for a while, and you understand what I mean when I'm talking about that. But... I do want to say that this is going to be a message that may be triggering for some of you, depending on where you are in your journey. And all I ask for you is if you are triggered while you're watching this, you're hearing some messages that are either like bringing up fears or upset or something. I ask that you take a look at what's underneath it, because anytime we are triggered, it is actually it's the opportunity for us to heal something to see what's underneath that okay so while I don't want to apologize for triggering simply because I know it's going to ultimately help um, I do ask that for those of you that you're feeling that to just kind of open the open your heart open your mind and actually take it in. If you if you get triggered and you click off, obviously that's your decision. <laughs> and I'm really not going to share anything too bad, so don't freak out. It's just more, I wanted to set up the context through which this, this message is coming through. So when I'm channeling for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, I'm channeling for Divine Masculine energy and Divine Feminine energy. I am not channeling distorted masculine or distorted feminine. I talk about those energies. I teach about those energies. But when I'm channeling, I'm tuning into the energies of the collective divine masculine and the collective divine feminine, which as you guys know, if you've been around my channel for any length of time, we embody and, and live masculine and feminine energies all the time, no matter what our primary energy is, what no matter what our gender is, it has nothing to do with it. It has to do with an energy. And so there may be some of you that are coming here watching my videos for someone that you are mistaking for the divine masculine. Now, what makes this tricky is that Everything I talk about is energy and energetic based. Now, you may hear me say something that you might perceive is about, for example, the outward behavior. There may be outward behavior that the divine masculine exhibits is the same outward behavior as the distorted masculine. And that's what makes this so tricky is really being able to discern the difference because what I teach is the underlying energies. So what am I using? I'll just use an example. So for example, the divine masculine may reach out, communicate, and then pull his energy back. The distorted masculine might do the exact same thing, but the energies are completely different. The divine masculine is doing it from a very genuine place. They've done their growth. They're really test, like, for example, the video I did the other day, the um, Divine Masculine testing the waters with the feminine. I'll choose that as a concrete example, so I'm not, so I make it a little bit clear. The Divine Masculine may, is absolutely testing the waters because he's in completely new territory. He himself is in new energy. He is transitioning out of distorted masculine into dis the sacred masculine. And he's not sure what to do with the energy of the Divine Feminine. He's never encountered that energy before. Because he's been dealing with distorted feminine his whole life. So this is a whole brand new world. So the Divine Masculine is genuinely testing the waters with the Divine Feminine. But it's likely unconsciously. His soul is calling him to do it. He's not consciously saying to himself, let me test the waters. It's literally 
like the pull of his heart is causing him to do this. Whereas there is distorted masculine that might do the same thing. They might reach out. They might tell you they want a relationship. They might tell you how they feel or they tell you what they think you want to hear. And then they pull their energy back. But the energy is totally different. The, the d distorted masculine energy is, is, again, trying to see what they can get away with. And again, it might not even be conscious. Okay, that's the thing. There's so many layers that this conversation could be had that I hope that by sharing this with you today that I'm a, that I'm not confusing you, number one, but I'm opening and expanding your minds and your hearts to the understanding that there are so many intricacies and different layers of this dynamic and this journey that make it so darn complicated and also why it takes a while. It takes a while to grow. It takes a while to gain your power and to understand yourself, to come into soul integration and really understand how this all fits together. So, you know, the divine masculine could possibly say something and not follow through. Like, let's go do this and then completely forgets about it. And the d d distorted masculine might do the same. Hey, let's go do this. Doesn't follow through. But because the person doesn't follow through or pulls back their energy, it doesn't label them divine or distorted anything. That doesn't automatically put them in one bucket or the other. So it's also very important if you're listening to this. For example, you might be a divine feminine or um, a primarily feminine energy person watching this. And you hear me say something about the divine masculine testing the waters. You might receive that message from the standpoint of like, uh-uh. I'm not doing that. I'm not playing those games. And here's what that tells me about you. It tells me one of two things. It's it, So either you are in your sacred feminine power and because you have done your work and you've grown and you recognize the behavior or you recognize the energy under, under the behavior, you might reject it because you're in your power as a divine feminine. But you may also... Reject it because you're still in your distorted feminine. So it's one or two, one or one or the other, right? There's really no in between. So you can see how there's different ends of a spectrum here, as well as different layers of the different ends of the spectrum. Like there, it's like multidimensional is what it is. So I really wanted to take time here today because the last thing that I want when I'm teaching, and I think it's important for you, especially those of you that are new to my work, it's especially important that you be truly clear with yourself and with your heart and really be honest with yourself. Are you possibly someone who is mistaking distorted masculine? For divine masculine some people when they come to these readings they don't really know what it is they assign divine masculine as the title to the other person or divine feminine to the other person because it makes sense like oh one's one's more male one's more female in terms of the energy but it doesn't mean you're dealing with divine masculine and divine feminine if the messages of what i'm teaching truly resonate with your soul where it's like yes this is what i'm feeling this is what i know is possible for me this is what i want and that's a really good thing because that means it's in your vibrational reality. It is awakening it is awakening you in your soul to remember what you know already from higher consciousness. This journey of being here on earth as humans is to, I always say this, to remember what we forgot. We came here as spiritual beings who have the knowledge. But when we come here and incarnate as humans, we forget. We get amnesia until we reach a point in our journey where we awaken. Something awakens us to more of who we really already have been, but we've just been, um, it's just not been revealed within ourselves. And so if it's resonating for you, then that means it's in your vibrational reality and a potential. It doesn't mean you may, you may have to do one bunch of work to get there, but if your, your soul is calling to you, Yes, if, if you are watching my videos and you're getting triggered and you're saying, no, -uh, that's not me. I don't want that person anymore. Well, 
it's not about the person, right? What are you needing to learn by your response? Okay. And again, this is the type of thing that I don't normally do on this channel um, in this format. Typically, this is the type of truth that spirit leads me to share because it's meant to grow and awaken you to a better experience, to a better version of yourself, to a better version of what you have in your vibrational reality, to a better version of relationship. And I think the last thing I really want to share here is it is important, like, again, I want to come back to that idea that the trickiness of this whole journey is that the outward behavior, the outward three-dimensional things that are happening, phone calls, visits, conversations, um, interactions, they may look the same on the outside, but they're very different energetically. So you need to be different energetically to be able to discern what's underneath it. Or again, I should say not even what's underneath it, seeing it from the higher perspective, from higher consciousness. When you're seeing things from higher consciousness, you can lift yourself up out of the 3D facts, figures, realities, and actually see the bigger picture. You can understand the intricacies. You can see the bigger lessons. And so... Um, This is why I am so dedicated to teaching this in my Soul Growth Accelerator. If you guys are interested in that information, there is a link down below. It is not for, just to check it out, it's not for everybody. Not everybody is at a point in their journey where they would be ready to hear this type of information or take it in. Um, I think if you've watched this video to this point and you haven't clicked off, to me that's a sign where... It's making you think, it's having you reflect, then it may be something that would be in alignment for you. But if this is something where you're ready to tell me why I'm wrong or why that person isn't this and therefore you're never going back, like this is, again, this is not about the person, then the soul, that's not going to be for you. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. And that's absolutely okay. And I might not be your, the, the right um, person for you to learn from and everyone's here doing different work um, for different missions and I just might find out be your person and that's absolutely perfect so I hope that that's been helpful for those of you where this is a relatively new concept and a refresher for those of you that you've been around this this block for a while so with that guys I'm gonna wrap up and um, do go check out my playlists and that I've created. Um, I do have so, like hundreds. Of, I have hundreds of videos on this channel. Most of them, I'd say ninety eight percent of them, are not on a playlist. So if you feel called, I suggest just going through and browsing some of my titles um, from the past. And if you're just feel like clicking on any one of them, there's usually a message in there for you. So with that, guys, I hope that's helpful. And also. Stay tuned for more information about the 2020, upcoming 2020 energies. I've already put out a bunch of videos in that series, getting you prepared. That is going to be a massive shift in the energies. The next couple of years are big. So I hope that you have checked out those and have found those helpful. So until next time, guys, I send you so much love. Bye.